Hey, what's going on guys? This is Brian with Simpans Comics in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com. And in this video, I'm gonna give you my weekly picks for new comic books that are coming out Wednesday, August 7th, 2019. Now, if this is your first time on my channel, I do a lot of comic and pop culture related videos. So please consider subscribing. This is actually a really good week for comics. Of course, if you're a Marvel fan, the past few weeks have been spectacular pumping out comics left and right, but we got a lot of great books this week, so let's not waste any time and let's get into the picks. We kick this week off with Berserker Unbound number one. This comes from Dark Horse Publishing. It's about a sword and sorcery warrior that gets blasted through a wormhole into a modern day metropolis. Kind of reminds me, old Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, don't know if you've seen it, but Hercules in New York. Fine chariot, but where are the horses? I just hope this book is better than that movie, and with Jeff Lemire writing, I'm positive it will be. This book's gonna have a regular cover by Mike Diodato Jr., as well as a regular price variant. Next up, staying with Dark Horse, we have No One Left to Fight number two. First issue was really good, really enjoyed it. It escalated on the secondary market, but we're gonna continue with issue number two, and in it, we get the severe tutelage of Mistress Harga. Also be aware that the second print for issue number one comes out this week, Brand new cover art, looks spectacular, so be sure to pick that one up as well. Getting into DC books, we have Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, issue number four. Right now, everyone's concentrating on that regular Ninja Turtles series, but this one is just as good. There's a reason why they made three series of it, but issue number four comes out this week. Be sure to pick that up. It's got a regular cover by Freddie Williams, as well as a regular price variant by Kevin Eastman. Coming in next, we have Batman number 76. This continues the City of Bane story arc. Batman's nowhere to be found, yet Flashpoint Batman is cruising the city, taking out rogue villains who have not signed on with Bane yet. This is gonna have a regular cover by Tony S. Daniel, as well as a regular priced variant by Gabriel Del Otto. Fans of Gabriel Del Otto will really like this cover, but also if you're a fan of this Batman series, you wanna pick up that regular cover, because it has Bane and Batman both on the cover as well it looks like a throwback to when bane broke batman's back next from dc we have deceased number four although not my favorite i still enjoy this series but to be honest a lot of these i probably pick up more for the cover art and this one's gonna have three different covers for it you have a regular andy kubert cover a regular price francesco Matina variant and you have a horror movie homage variant deathstroke number 46. in the wake of deathstroke's murder you have rose and jericho going at it and you see jericho take a dark turn in this issue it's gonna have a regular cover as well as a regular price year of the villain variant by scon lois lane number two i read the first issue i wasn't super amazed by it but i'm at least picked this up through the first arc this is gonna have a regular cover by mike perkins as well as a regular priced variant by yasmin putri this is one of those series that if you like it for the reading, I'd definitely pick it up. But if you like it trying to make money on the speculation market, I don't see this series doing much unless somehow they introduce some key event or some key character within it. But either way, I'm picking it up through the first arc. And as I mentioned earlier, everyone is hyped on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles right now. And IDW is releasing the second print of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 95 this week. Well sought after, but I've noticed a lot of online retailers still have this in stock. So either the print run's gonna be higher than you would imagine, or people are fine with just having the first print. Or third, there's a lot of exclusive store variants floating out there as well. From Image Comics, we get Die number six this week. This is the start of a new story arc. Die is a fantastic book. There's rumor that this book has been optioned. It's kind of like Jumanji meets Dungeons and Dragons. Fantastic story. Plus, I love the story writing by Karen Gillan, as well as the interior and cover art by Stephanie Hans, one of my favorite artists. So I'm gonna continue to pick this up. This is gonna have a regular cover by Stephanie Hans, as well as a regular priced variant by Peach Momoko. Sea of Stars number two. This is another series that I enjoyed the very first issue on. It seems to be flying under the radar or people just didn't enjoy it as much. I tend to enjoy anything written by Jason Aaron. Like the first issue, I'm gonna pick up the second. And it's only got the one cover for it. Thumbs number three, this is another series that I've enjoyed reading. If you're a fan of suspense and social networking, this is one series you might be interested in reading. One of my favorite things about this series is the interior art it's by Hayden Sherman, who also does the art for Vault's Wasted Space. So that is what drove me to pick this up, and I've been enjoying reading it since the first issue. Getting into Marvel Comics, we get the big, big release of the week. Probably might be of the summer, but Donny Cates, Marvel, comic community, all have been pushing the narrative of absolute carnage, and it is here, it is arriving this week 
in your comic book stores. This book promises that Carnage will put the symbiotes absolutely through hell, and the first issue is gonna be an oversized 60 page issue. Not only that, as Marvel always does, as they're known for, Marvel has a huge amount of covers for it. So I'm gonna put them up on the screen right now so you can see what's coming up. Coming in next, we have Agents of Atlas number one. Now, Agents of Atlas was popular, came out, they made their first introduction during the War of the Realms tie-ins, but now they're getting their own series, and I'm interested to pick it up, give it a read, and see what all we get from it. There's gonna be five different covers for this. We get a regular cover, a regular price variant by Miko Swayan, we get a regular price variant by Carlo Pagulayan, a regular price baby variant by Scotty Young, and a regular priced wave variant by Lionel Francis Yu. Next up, we have Black Cat number three. Three. This is still not one of my favorite series. I still pick this up mostly because of the cover art, but I am getting comments that a lot of readers are enjoying it. So different strokes for different folks. Keep on picking it up. This is gonna have five different covers for it. There's a regular cover by J. Scott Campbell. There's a regular price bad guys variant by N. Hyuk Lee. There's an incentive variant by Jim Bartel. There's also an incentive variant by Frank Cho, as well as an incentive virgin variant by J. Scott Campbell. Next, this is probably my favorite book to read for Marvel right now, and we get Daredevil number nine. Now I keep saying, and I truly mean this, if you aren't reading Daredevil, I highly recommend it. Doesn't seem to be getting the attention from the secondary market like a lot of these other titles, but Daredevil, fantastic read. Huge, huge, huge kudos to Chip Zdarsky, fantastic on writing. This is gonna have two different covers for it. We have a regular Tedesco cover, as well as a regular priced Bad Guys variant by Dave Johnson. Next this week, we get the release of Future Foundation number one. Straight out of the pages of Fantastic Four, we get the most brilliant young minds in the universe. Their mission, to find the pieces and rebuild their friend, Molecule Man. This is gonna have four different covers for it. There's a regular cover by Carlos Pacheco, a regular priced action figure variant by John Tyler Christopher, an incentive variant by Takeshi Maezawa, and an incentive variant by Nick Bradshaw. House of X number two. This is the big John Hickman X-Men event going on. We have House of X number one a few weeks ago, Powers of X last week. We're getting House of X number two this week. Also, the second print for House of X number one comes out this week as well. But House of X number two is gonna have eight different covers for it. We have a regular Pepe Loraz cover, a regular price connecting variant by Yasmin Putri, regular price action figure variant by John Tyler Christopher, a regular price flower variant by Sarah Pacelli, a regular price character decades variant by Alan Davis, a Scotty Young variant, a regular price Mike Huddleston variant, and an incentive virgin variant by Pepe Loraz. Mortal Hulk number 22, we have the monsters working together to stop Shadow Base. This is gonna have two different covers for it. You have a regular cover by Alex Ross, as well as a regular price Bad Guys variant by Ryan Brown. Ryan Brown, love his art, he's been doing a lot of great covers lately. Huge fan of Alex Ross, so actually, I'm gonna try to pick up both covers this week. Savage Avengers number four. I have all the Avengers book right now. This is one's actually my favorite to read. Love the team on this, love how it's a little bit darker, but I love this series, so I'm gonna continue to pick this up, and it's gonna have three different covers for it. There's a regular David Finch cover. There's a regular Price Zafino Bad Guys variant, as well as a one in 25 incentive variant by Simone Bianchi. Battle Cats number three. This pick is purely from a reading standpoint. Love the first Battle Cat series. I've been loving the second Battle Cat series, and no stranger to my channel, huge fan of Mad Cave Studios. Another great story by Mark London. Fantastic interior art by Mark Camello. Can't say enough good things about this series, so I'm gonna continue to pick it up. Next, this is probably the big independent book of the week. It was pushed back a couple of times, but it comes from Red Five, who's writing that high right now from Riptide announcements, but we are talking Dark Age number one. Free comic book day, they had an issue for it come out then. Really, really well receptive. It even gained on the secondary market a little bit. So we're getting issue one this week, finally after being delayed. 
that's gonna have a regular cover as well as an incentive variant. That incentive variant seems to be sold out a lot of places online already. So be on the lookout for that when you go to your local comic book stores on Wednesday. Dead End Kids number one. This comes from Source Point Press. I've heard a lot of good buzz about this book. The synopsis behind it kind of reminds me of the old Mark Wahlberg movie, Four Brothers, except in this series, instead of four brothers, it's three boys and a girl. One of their friends ends up getting murdered and the others set out on a quest to find out who killed them. So there you have it guys, those are my picks for new comics that are coming out this Wednesday, August 7th, 2019. As always, let me know what books you guys are picking up. Don't forget to like this video, and if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. Question of the day. If you could have any movie made right now from the DC Universe, what would it be? My answer? I still want that Justice League Dark movie that we were promised years ago especially with the cancellation of Swamp Thing, make the movie, do it right, and give us fans what we want. I'm Brian from Simple Man's Comics, and I'll see you guys next week.